Oh no! Oh, face hugger, face hugger! No! Hey guys, it's Jeff here. Welcome back to another amazing mod showcase. And this time we're looking at the Aliens vs Predator mod. And it is pretty scary. As you can see behind me, we've got a few aliens. And there are different kinds of aliens. There are different kinds of... Well, there's a Predator and there's a Marine as well. Let me just turn this, uh, this sound down a bit there. Pretty noisy, those guys. Um, so yeah, we're going to have a look at the different kinds of creatures that we have here. So we have the, um, the Praetorian. We use a, a, an, an alien kind of guy there. Um, and most of these guys are pretty tough, as you can imagine. I think they have like 30 um, plus hit points, and depending on their size, we have the mother, um, the queen uh, alien over here, and she will actually lay eggs and produce more aliens as well. Uh, we have the, I won't spawn this guy first, he's the predator, the, the Yaucha. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, but these guys will actually fight each other. We have the Marines, we have the Predators, and we have the Aliens. And they will all um, fight with one another. So we have a few Warriors here. Um, these guys are pretty nasty. We've got the little face huggers as well that will jump on your face and um, uh, lay an egg inside of you. And once they do that, uh, the chest buster will, will come out, <laughs> which is pretty disgusting. Um, and we also have the the Overmorph, which is the, the little eggs, uh, which will hatch once you get close to them. So that, that Queen uh, alien is absolutely huge. Um, now, do we have the Marines here? Yeah, we've got a few Marines and we have the Yauchers, the uh, the Predators. Um, so I'm going to put these guys down. They probably do aren't going to stand a chance against all of these aliens, but we'll see how we go. Um, I'll put a few of them out there. There we go. And they're going to start attacking each other. I'll spawn a few marines as well and they've got some some weapons and these guys will all fight with one another and I really love the uh, the, the the glowing blood here that the uh, the aliens have once they uh, once they're killed so it looks like the marines are doing pretty well I don't know if they'll be able to take out the queen though she does um, she will heal herself as well um, let's put a few more of these guys down and we'll see if we can uh, stem the tide and, uh, and take out these few rema remaining Marines. The Marines actually are quite tough. That will last quite a while. Um, I'll make a few more Warriors here. So yeah, these guys will actually keep fighting and keep battling it uh, battling it out until um, either side is, is completely dead. So yeah, those guys are going to keep fighting. Looks like the aliens, I think, should win there. There's a few more aliens. But we're going to go inside and have a look and um, just have a look at some of the recipes and how to get some of these pretty cool things. Um, cool weapons and, and uh, armor as well. So uh, yeah, there are quite a few different things that we can uh, have a look at here. We've got the different armor. This is the marine armor here, and we have the, I think it's the predator armor here. The, uh, the, the Celtic armor, they call it. Um, so, yeah, we can have a look in here at the recipes. It's pretty simple, um, but we do need this um, kind of circuit here. So we're using the titanium ingots, and you will need to, um, to create a new world when you install this mod, because it will need to, to seed the world with titanium and aluminium as well. So we do need um, to create the mask. You will need a little circuit here, and the little circuit is made with some silicon plates and um, titanium pins and redstone. So um, yeah, it's a little bit more difficult to make um, these things because it is using a little circuit here. Um, this is for the Celtic leggings here, and the marine leggings um, just use wool apparently, <laughs> and the marine vest here. And yeah, it looks like it's, it's all made with wool, which is, is pretty interesting. I'm not quite sure um, how, how tough the wool is going to be, but um, there you go. And uh, a little bit more exciting, we have all the weapons here. We have pistols, we have um, uh, the M4, I think, the sniper rifle, the AK-47 here. Um, yeah, so these are actually not too difficult to make as well. The pistol you'll be able to get uh, pretty early on in the game if you are playing survival. Um, we'll just have a look at that. It just uses iron ingots here. Just four iron ingots, you can get a uh, pistol, but you will need um, some ammunition as well, which is a little bit more difficult to get. So we've got the M4, um, which is made with the aluminum ingots and a little lever. And then we have the sniper rifle. Now I have had a bit of trouble with the sniper rifle. It, it was a bit glitchy for me, um, just because of the, um, the the scope there wasn't wasn't uh, was a bit strange. But I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. So that's how we make the sniper rifle. Um, we've got the pulse rifle, which is made with a M4 plus gold ingots and a few other things here, some aluminum ingots and a lever as well. Uh, we have the smart gun, which is made with the pulse rifle. So these are all kind of upgrading. To, to get bigger and bigger and better. And lastly we have the AK-47, 
uh, which is made with the M4 plus a little bit of wood, aluminum, and a lever as well. So we're gonna have, we're gonna try out these guns in a second, and uh, we have the um, the ammunition for all of these guns here as well. Um, so I won't, go, I won't go through all of these, but you can have a look um, if you have the NEI um, mod installed. It makes it easy to, to find the recipes, but it's made with gold and aluminum and gunpowder. The basic one, the pistol magazine, is made with aluminum and gunpowder as well. So it's actually uh, it's more difficult to make the, the ammunition than it is to, um, to make the gun itself. Um, so there we have that, and then we have the grenades as well. Now the regular grenade um, is not very powerful. I've tried it out a few times and, and we'll, I'll show you how that works, but the, the regular grenade is made with some iron ingots, gunpowder and a button. Um, I didn't find it was that powerful when I tried it out, but the incendiary grenade, which is like a fire grenade, is definitely much, much better. Um, and you make that with iron ingots with a blaze powder and a button. Now you will need to go to the nether to find the blaze powder, which does make it a little bit more difficult to craft, but uh, I think it's definitely worth it compared to the uh, ordinary grenade. Now we have a few kind of fun guns over here. We have the flamethrower, which is uh, really, really cool. It's probably my favorite. It's one of my favorites there, the flamethrower, and that's made with iron ingots and a blaze rod. So it's pretty simple to make, and you don't need any ammunition for it, which is really cool, um, but you will need to go to the nether again and get that blaze rod. And also we have the plasma cannon, which is just made with titanium ingots, and you will need to craft one of these little circuits as well. But again, uh, there's no ammunition for this. It just keeps on keeping on um, for as long as you have the gun, which is really cool. So um, yeah, there we have kind of the main marine weapons over here. And then we get to the weapons of the, the Predator over here. So the Predators use the wrist blades, which is plus 11 attack damage, which is really cool. Now, you can't actually craft this recipe, I don't think. You can't craft the, right, the wrist blades. Um, possibly they might drop. I'm not sure exactly how you get them. But we can craft the other two things, the smart disc and the shuriken. To make the smart disc, we do need to make a shuriken first. And um, these are pretty cool. We need aluminum ingots and uh, the circuits like that. Uh, but the smart disc is uh, just absolutely amazing. It kind of just runs by itself. It's like a little, a little drone or something. But um, yeah, I'll show you that in a second. The recipe is um, four little circuits with a shuriken in the middle surrounded by the titanium ingots. Um, so that is really cool. I'm going to show you how to show you how that works in a second. Uh, then we have the Celtic tools as well, and these are really powerful tools. We have the spear, which I think is plus 11 attack damage. We've got the sword as well. Um, yeah, they're both plus 11 attack damage, which is pretty cool. Um, and they're pretty easy to make as long as you can find some titanium which is uh, one of the hardest metals available, apparently. So, yeah, they're made in just the general way, um, but using titanium instead of iron there. Um, so let's have a look at the, the spear over here. Yeah, it's just made with one titanium ingot. Um, and you get plus 11 attack damage, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, over here, lastly, we've got a few little, um, another few fun little items. Um, now, this is a nuclear core. And you really want to be careful using this. I had a bit of go a go at this um, just prior to doing the video, and I almost just blew up the entire world. It's just uh, you really have to be careful. It will destroy an area within a 50 block radius, which is actually a diameter of like 100 blocks. So you need to need to make sure you're not putting this anywhere near anything that you've actually created or built. Otherwise, it's just going to destroy everything. And lastly, we have some Doritos. If you get a little bit hungry, um, feel free to have some Doritos. Um, it's just made with wheat and a potato. Uh, the nuclear core, um, I, I'm not actually sure how you get that. Uh, there's no recipe for it. Maybe you have to find it somewhere. It might be hidden um, in some dungeon or something like that. But I'm not sure how to get the nuclear core. But we'll have a look at what it does anyway in a second. So what I'm going to do, um, it's just starting to get night time now. Uh, do we have a few guys out here? Do we have some, some baddies? Yeah, we're going to wait a little while. Um, until night falls and some of the, the aliens come out. I'm just going to deck myself out in some armor here. Um, let's see, let's see. Let me grab, put this armor on here. Uh, do I have my booties? Yes, I have my booties. Um, let's get these guns ready. And we're going we're gonna to have a look and see how this works. Grab the smart disc, the shurikens, the pulse rifle. Um, what else do I need? The flamethrower, definitely. The grenades. And we'll try the, yeah, we'll try the grenades. Okay, so I'm going to wait for the light time. Check out this, check out this. 
Uh, check out this armor, guys. I look like a predator. <laughs> it's a little bit scary. Um, yeah, I'll be back in a sec once it's night time and once we have a few mobs out there that we can take out. Okay, guys, looks like we have uh, quite a few guys out here, so we're going to have a look at some of these weapons. Um, the pistol, first of all. Oh, I just pressed the left button. Um, no, we can't target with a pistol. We're going to see if we can take out some of these guys here. Um, right click to shoot. We've got the plasma cannon as well, which is pretty cool. Love the plasma cannon. Um, we have the M4. Now you can target with the left mouse button and then shoot. Uh, we also have the, the AK-47, which is a little bit more powerful. We have the, the pulse rifle as well, which is kind of like a machine gun, which is pretty cool. Uh, we have the flamethrower, which is, as I said, one of my favorites. But let's try the grenades first. This grenade is... Uh, um, is not very powerful. Oh, it, is, it, it does, does do a little bit of damage, but um, definitely the incendiary grenade um, is, is a lot better. So let's let's see how this goes. Let's let's light up the place with some some grenades over there. Now, as I said, the smart disc is really cool. Let's grab the shuriken first, and I'll show you how that works. Um, we'll try the shuriken on this guy, you, but you have to hold it down for a little while and then let go. And it's just kind of a one-shot thing, but the smart disc will actually keep on attacking, so it's um it's pretty cool, and it comes back to you as well, which is pretty awesome. So we're gonna try this, try the smart disc out, out again. It should come back. Looks like this one's um not quite coming back, but that's fine. Um yeah, so I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna move into. I am actually gonna. Oh, hang on. Let me grab my uh, flamethrower. Yeah, we are going to move in to, uh, to survival mode and uh, see how long I can survive um, with these guys hanging around. So, <laughs> a bit nervous about this. I do have all my armor on though. Okay, so let's go game mode survival. Take out these guys before they take me out. Let's see what's going on. Uh, let, me, let me grab the, uh, the plasma cannon here. Oh, I've got no... Oh, it's not powered. The plasma cannon is not actually working for me, which is not good. I think I'm going to have to go to the... Let me just uh, just send off these grenades and uh, see if I can clear out the area a bit. I'm going to head down with my flamethrower. Come on, come on. Take him out, take him out. Oh, I'm getting stuck in the corner. Oh, no. Oh no! Oh, face hugger, face hugger! No, no! Oh. Guys, this place has been absolutely infested with uh, with with aliens, and there's only one thing for it. There's only one thing we can do to get rid of these guys. Um, I'm just gonna head, head straight down um, here. There's only one thing to get, one way to get rid of all of these guys. We're gonna have to lay the nuclear core. So let's go. Let's run, 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 run. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Run! Oh my goodness. Um, so guys, that is the end of this mod showcase. Just remember, do not use the nuclear core, otherwise you will completely destroy your world. Um, it is a lot of fun though, and does um, give you a big challenge to this game as well. It's definitely much more challenging. As you can see, I had a bit of an accident over there with the nuclear core, and a bit of an accident over here with the nuclear core, but um, we have gotten rid of all of the aliens. Um, which is awesome, but this is a, a, a fun mod to play, um, so thank you so much for watching, I'll see you all again soon, bye!